Apple Business Manager is an absolute necessity when it comes to managing Apple devices, be that Mac OS, iOS, iPad OS. Most organizations will only ever have one MDM in their Apple Business Manager environment. And so I thought I'd show you what I'm currently up to. One of my customers is migrating their staff identities and devices from one country to another. They're keeping their existing Apple Business Manager in place because all their phones and stuff are registered in that country and that's where they're registered already. So they're going to stay there, but we're going to use Apple Business Manager to migrate the Intune tenant that they're connected to. Let's take a look. Right now, you can see they already have two uh, Intune or two tenants, two um, MDM servers connected to their Apple Business Manager. One is a Mass360 and the other is Intune. Now what we're going to do is add another Intune to this Apple Business Manager environment. And so let's do that, right? So we're gonna choose add. And we're gonna give it a name and it's going to be, I'm gonna type the name of the customer so it makes sense for them, but we'll uh, blank that out because that would be uh, a good idea for me. So we get the option to choose whether this MDM can release devices. Now this, uh, that's not a capability of Intune that I'm aware of. I certainly haven't used it. I haven't seen it. So it's not something that we need to be able to do. So I'm going to turn it off because it's not, it's not a feature that I, I have ever seen us be able to do from Intune. So it's where you would be able to release uh, devices from Apple Business Manager from the MDM and it's not something I, I think would be a good idea to be able to do. The next thing is the MDM server settings. We need to upload a public key. We get that public key from Intune. So let's head over to Intune. Now I'm going to go to the other browser because it's the other tenant for that customer. And I'm going to show you firstly they already have a business manager in their existing country. So we're going to then choose add and we're going to add a second business manager to Intune, also something that not many organizations have. So we're going to choose I agree, we're going to download that public key that we uh, just talked about in the previous one. So I'm going to then go back over to business manager and upload that public key. Right there, there it is, I'm going to choose open, you can see that's the, uh, the, the, the PEM file, the public key file there, and then we can choose save. And once we've done that, we can then download the MDM server token we need to give to Intune. Very simple. We'll choose download and choose download again. It warns you that it will reset your existing token. It's referring to the token that you are working on this this uh, for this particular MDM, not the other MDMs. So we're going to choose download MDM server token. And there it is. It's called a P7M file. So we then have head back over to the other tenant and it says to use ABM, use your key to download a token. And so all we need to do is tap in the Apple ID and then we're gonna use this Apple token that we've just downloaded. So again, in my downloads folder, it's that P7M file right there. We choose open and then we choose next. And it has, it's, it's, that's it, it's done. We have that second Intune tenant in Apple Business Manager and we have that second Apple Business Manager in Intune. Let's take a look at what that's done then. So in Enrollment Program Tokens, you can see I've got this second, um, you can see I've got that second token here. The device is synchronized, it's currently zero obviously, and we've got 175 in the other uh, token. So back over to Business Manager in the source tenant and we can see we've got three MDM servers on the left hand side here. Now to migrate, from one tenant, from one Intune to the other, it's simply a case of going over to devices in this other, um, in this source MDM server, choosing show devices, and then finding the device you want to migrate, choosing that over at the three dots on the right hand side, edit MDM server and assign it to your new MDM. Very simple to do. We're going to do that as part of the migration in a few weeks time. Obviously, when we do migrate it, it will apply to this new enrollment program token, which means it will be synchronized here, which means then we need to have all the profiles and stuff built into that uh, to that token, that DEP profile, because there isn't one already. You can see right now, whatever I've got in the target tenant already, I need to recreate for this particular uh, DEP token that I've just built.
So for there, it's simply a case of choosing career profile, choosing iOS and building the depth profile as you would have done in the original source or target tenant anyway. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you, a really quick video of how you can have multiple ABMs in Intune and multiple Intunes in ABM. See you next time.